Hey, it's Jeremiah Taylor, and I've gotten so many questions about this graphic. And I gotta tell you, uh, there's some truth behind this, but it's also painting a story that is a little bit misleading. So I wanna clear the air and help you understand exactly what's happening with these loan level price adjustment changes, which is what this actually is. So let's find out what's going on. So, so at the highest level, is it true that if you have a lower credit score, you will get a better interest rate on your mortgage? And the answer is no, absolutely not. And so let's look at the actual data from Fannie Mae. So very regularly, the Federal Housing Finance Association comes out with new guidelines for what are called loan level price adjustments. This is Fannie Mae at the top, you see FNMA. Uh, and what Fannie Mae is saying is, hey, if you have this credit score and you're putting this much money down, there is a pricing adjustment. Now, this is not an interest rate adjustment. This is a pricing adjustment. So this is to the wholesale price that the lender that is making you your mortgage is paying for this rate um, based on this criteria. So what I want you to take away here is they change this every so often. This actually was announced in January. It's now April 26th. And we're just talking about this because it caught a little wind in the media. But look, a customer with a 740 FICO score, they have a 1% charge to the cost of their loan if they're putting 20, 15 to 20% down. And a customer with a 679 FICO score that is putting 5% down has a 1.625% charge to the cost of their loan. So matter of factly, the truth is, if you have a lower credit score, you're going to pay more for your mortgage debt. So then where's this coming from? Where, what is this? What's happening is they're actually comparing two different things. They're taking the 1% that is here, sorry, here, and they're saying, hey, there's a 1% surcharge if your credit score is 740 to 759 and you're putting 25% down. And then they're saying, well, people that have a credit score below 769 used to have a 2.7 or 3.5% surcharge. Now that's only a 1.6 or 1.8% surcharge. So they're getting a discount and you should be irate because they're getting a discount. Here's the reality of what's happening is there are new credit score buckets that Fannie Mae came out with. So in the old loan level pricing matrix, 740 was the highest score. Well, if you weren't paying attention, the FICO scoring system got an update last year and a lot of people's credit scores became higher, some people's became lower. So what Fannie Mae said is, hey, we're gonna to react to this and we're gonna give extra credit to the people that have extra good credit. And now that it's easier to have a 740 score, we're gonna give those people a little bit less extra credit. So here's what I would be thinking if I'm seeing this. If you had a 780 before and you have a 780 now, it's pretty much the same. There is an eighth difference to the price of your loan um, that's very nominal. Now, if you were just over, if you were a 741 before and somehow you're still a 741, which is pretty unlikely because the scoring model changed, yes, there is a cost increase for you to get a mortgage for a pre-May 1 and post-May 1 under this new rulemaking. Now, on the other side of this though, all of these scores, what you'll see is there's also new buckets on the low end. So if you have a lower score, um, they've basically taken a little bit of steepness out of the out of the cost adjustments for these because they're trying to incentivize people that are first time buyers to get back in the market. This is the hardest housing market that we have seen in terms of affordability for first time buyers. Now, I wanna be clear, if somebody has a 640 or 650, 680 FICO score, that doesn't mean they're not paying their bills on time. It likely just means they have newer credit or maybe high balances on their credit cards. If somebody's defaulting on bills or getting behind, their credit score typically doesn't start with a six, it starts with a four or a five. So these are people that are still credit worthy. They're just you know trying to figure out or maybe getting started in life. And so what FHA, FHFA has done is they've said, hey, let's try to help incentivize them to get in the market because rates have come up tremendously in the last six months 
Let's decrease the cost of those funds for them so that we can help get the housing market back going. Now, I'll leave it up to you to decide if this is a good thing, a bad thing, or otherwise, but if nothing else, these are the facts. Thank you.